Visual Class is a machine learning based application for the classification of acoustic emission signals. For example, to distinguish between different sources such as friction, crack formation, or noise interferences. Visual Class uses features from the frequency range. The trained classification models can be exported to classify new AE signals in real time or offline. Visual Class has a long history and has been part of the Violin AE suite since 1997. With the current release 2020, Visual Class 2.0 was published. The new features and optimizations include automatic train test splits, automatic parameter search for model optimization, and a greatly simplified workflow. Classification is a supervised machine learning method. As shown on the left, sufficiently labeled data must exist for each class with which the model is trained. Then, as shown on the right, the model can be applied to new, unknown data to assign each signal to the previously defined classes. The starting point in machine learning is the data. That's the first step. For a classification, a sufficient number of samples must be available for each class. Since the raw data or waveforms of different signals are mathematically difficult to compare, characteristics or features are usually calculated which are easier to compare. Examples for simple features are the energy or the peak frequency in the FFT. In visual class, features from the frequency range are used. In the next step of feature selection, the characteristics that best separate the classes are selected among the features. The selected features are then used to train the model. The many parameters of feature extraction and feature selection can be optimized in an automatic parameter search so that the classification accuracy of the model is maximized. As part of the inference, the trained model is used to classify new, unknown data. In the following, the described workflow is shown from start to finish. A plexiglass plate with four VS150RSC sensors is used as an example. The acoustic emission sources are pencil lead breaks, the integrated pulsar of the AMZ6 system, and soul trickling from a soul shaker. The model to be trained should be able to distinguish these sources. For the data acquisition of all data, a threshold of 40 dBAE and suitable digital filters for the VS150 sensor of 95 to 300 kilohertz are selected. We start with pencil at breaks at different positions on the plate. Despite the greatest care, hits with lower amplitudes can be observed in the data. For example, due to the placement of the pencil on the plate, or the impact of broken lead on the plate. The pulsar data is comparatively easy to generate. Here, a cycle of the internal pulsar is started, which successively initiates four pulses into the plate via the sensors. After about 500 hits, the measurement is stopped. The data from the soul trickling is also easy to generate. The plate is simply sprinkled with the soul shaker at different positions. Visual class can now be used to train a model based on the generated data sets. To do this, visual class is opened, a new project is created, and the generated data sets are selected. Each measurement data set belongs to a class. The data is sorted in such a way that the pencil lead breaks correspond to class 1, the pulsar data to class 2, and the soul trickling to class 3. For the feature extraction, the following initial settings are configured. The number of segments, the segment length, offset to the first exceeding of the threshold, the frequency range, and the standardization. What's behind these settings will be demonstrated in a moment. 
Shown here is a measured hit with the extracted features. The signal is first normalized, usually with the RMS value. The signal is then divided into segments with a defined length that overlap by 50%. Each segment is then weighted with a Hamming window and Fourier transformed. The resulting FFT coefficients of all segments together form the feature vector, thus the set of all extracted features. The menu item feature extraction is used to calculate the features of all data. As previously mentioned, Visual Class 2.0 automatically splits the data into training and test data. The settings for this can be found under cross-validation setup. By default, a random 25% of the data is used as test data. In total, the settings result in 111 features per signal. Not all of them are suitable for the source separation. Therefore, in the next step of the feature selection, the separability of all features is evaluated and only a defined number of the best features are selected for the machine learning model. The features are evaluated using the Fisher discriminant ratio, the ratio of intervariance to intravariance. What sounds complicated is actually quite simple. For a good separability of the classes, the class foci should be far apart and the scatter within the classes should be as small as possible. Both metrics in relation to each other result in the Fisher discriminant ratio. Based on the feature assessments, a selection can be made. Here, for example, the 10 best features per class pair. This ensures the availability of suitable features for the separation of all classes. At the heart of the actual training lies a linear discriminant analysis in which a transformation is calculated for the optimal separation of classes. In the visualization of the transformed features, an acceptable separation of the classes can be seen. The automatic parameter search can be used for model optimization. Here, all parameters of the feature extraction and feature selection can be adjusted within defined limits and increments in order to finally find the optimal parameter combination. In the automatic parameter search, a parameter combination could be found with which a maximum classification accuracy of 97.6% is achieved for test data. The parameter search can be gradually refined, for example, to further narrow down the optimal number of features. Here, it showed that already 50 features per class pair were optimal. The fully trained and optimized model can then be saved and exported. Finally, it will be demonstrated how the model can be incorporated for classification during live measurements. To do this, we start a new measurement. In addition to the current acquisition, the feature extractor is also started, which receives a link to both the current measurement file as well as the exported classification model. As soon as a new dataset or hit is recorded, the features are extracted, selected, transformed, and the classification result is calculated. The visualization of the measurement data is done with Visual AE. To display the classification results, we create a new diagram and select the result from the feature extractor as the data source. The acquisition is now started to test the train classifier with the known sources. Pencil at breaks, pulsar, and soul trickle. <laughs>